Clio is a great meeting to go to because it really bridges fundamental science all the way through um, development of technology, the uses of technology, and applications. And what we've really tried to do in the last couple of years is strengthen that whole spectrum of activities we cover by having a strong um, focus on um, new business applications of lasers and EO technology all the way through the fundamental physics involved in developing new materials. And we've tried to do that by focusing on several thrust areas. Uh, biophotonics, which is a real emerging area of um, optical science. Uh, industrial applications, and a lot of that can focus on things like machining, uh, welding, uh, uses of uh, photonic uh, instrumentation, uh, fiber optics, and uses of that for, uh, as both a component and enabling technology. Uh, we've had a thrust in um, uh, uh, green energy, so things like uh, LEDs, uh, solar cells, on the applied side, and then the fundamental, how do we build new semiconductor devices that enable those applications. So I think Clio is a great place to come to get a broad spectrum all the way from science to application. I think it's the premier uh, academic focused conference in this technology in the, in, in the world. And I think um, it's a great place for people who are very applied like myself to come and find out what are the next set of technologies that we can exploit and pull, pull into the marketplace. Probably the most fundamental reason to attend is just learn what are the hot things out there that we need to know about. Uh, I think an example would be metamaterials. And I think optical metamaterials are not something you really think of as applied right now, but that's going to be the new wave of enabling technology for optics of the future, lasers of the future. And we need to know about those kind of advances in their early stages so we can be thinking about how to put them in products which are going to be out in the marketplace or in the defense industry in 10 years from now. It takes that long to develop new, new products and applications. I think of Clio as the premier meeting for lasers, electro-optics in the world. By including the market focus piece as well as the applications and technology piece, it's not only university level basic research, but we're doing that as well as applied research as well as applications and showing how technology is used now and going to be used in the future. So if you can only come to one conference, Clio's a great one to choose because you can learn the basic science, you can learn emerging technologies, and again I think of uh, me new meta metamaterials for optical science as a great example of something which is going to move from the science labs into applied products very soon in the future. So you can learn about that be on the forefront. You also see how uh, other companies are using technology, and that gives you a lot of eureka moments. I see what I want to do in the future. And then you can also see some of the products coming out that maybe it's just easier to go buy or get from somebody else right now instead of inventing yourself. Clio covers that whole spectrum, all the way from science to products, and that's a great reason to come. It's a great place to um, see acquaintances. It's a great place to recruit. It's a great place for me to see some of my customers and it's a great place to see suppliers. This meeting is fascinating, as I said before, because of its breadth. And one of the comments I wanted to make is in looking over the program and the titles of the sections, I feel like a kid in a candy store with unlimited funds. It's just, but limited time. It's just impossible to do everything. It's, it's uh, amazing choices uh, of which one has to decide. Well, I have to sacrifice this for that. But the breadth and the interest is just wonderful. I really enjoy two very different aspects of the papers from the opposite ends of the spectrum. One is the invited speakers. And I'm particularly attracted to some of the people who I know are giving talks, whom I've heard before. They're absolutely superb speakers, and their research is fascinating. Uh, they include Marty Segev and John Dowling and a number of other people uh, who will be giving invited talks. At the opposite end of the spectrum are the student talks, because they are the most innovative and exciting. And I especially like to go to poster sessions and talk with students, because then I can be one-on-one -on -one with them, and I can really find out what they're thinking. Just looking at the, at the program of invited speakers, nothing but the invited speakers, it's worldwide. And I would say that a, ve a relatively small fraction come from the United States. There are speakers from the Far East, from the Near East, there's several Israeli speakers, the speakers from almost every country in Europe. Uh, it's just astounding how international this is, and it's almost evenly balanced. 
From my point of view, what differentiates Clio from other meetings in the similar fields is extremely rigorous reviewing process. We really go for quality control. Uh, there are bigger conferences, there are conferences with big exhibits. But to the best of my knowledge, I cannot tell you about one conference where, people, where basically the best uh, minds in the field get together and review very carefully, very rigorously, very, all the submissions. And we, I would say we guarantee the quality. I think that, in my view, that's what differentiates Clio from all other conferences in the fi fields of lasers and optics. And I would say, not just uh, in the United States, but throughout the world. This is, of course, a truly international conference. So I want to stress once again, if you want to get quality, you come to Clio. If you, there, are the, 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 there are talks, we, in, uh, sorry, there are conferences which take place in more excited ven exciting venues. There are conferences with more attendees. There are conferences with more, with, with more exhibitors. But when it comes to quality of the technical pro, uh, program, I think this conference is without peers. That's my final message to Good. potential audience. I really like coming to Clio because it's a larger field that you get to see. Um, there are some small conferences that are much more focused on particular areas, whereas Clio, it, you get everything. Um, I work in semiconductor lasers and there's always a lot of papers submitted in that area and so a lot of sessions in that area but also I get to see some other things like new optical materials, um, some stuff on nonlinear effects in the material that I work on. Um, so what attracts me is I g not only do I get to see the experts in my area, and the latest advances, I can find out what's happening in other areas and get to talk to people there. The social aspects are really important for me. It um, means that I can meet with people, uh, particularly coming from the UK. Um, it gives me a chance to meet up with not only um, colleagues from the US, but colleagues from Asia and from Europe. It's amazing how little we see each other within Europe. Um, Unless you're working with others uh, in a collaborative grant, you don't really see them um, during the year. But uh, we get to meet, and um, you know, going for lunch together is very important. That uh, that's a great time to sit and talk about uh, um, the conference and talk about other possibilities, um, as well as things that aren't work, and then dinner as well. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this year's meeting. Um, the quality this year seems to be really good. Uh, the, the, uh, I'm getting feedback from the subcommittee chairs that they think they've got great papers. So I, I think it's going to be a wonderful conference and I think um, there's going to be a lot of exciting papers at it. Creo is becoming more and more international and uh, uh, that international aspect is uh, very attractive. Uh, make the conference very, very attractive and then uh, we've been pushing forward this aspect for uh, uh, many years and then now they you know that uh, uh, more than like approximately 60% uh, of the paper submission are from outside the US and then uh, from uh, more than 50 countries so it's really amazing and uh, um, so uh, by attending the Creo uh, we can learn the world trend of uh, lasers and electronics and the rating fields. So I am uh, strongly recommend and encourage international researchers, professors and students to attend this world most event. The social part of any of these meetings is really big because you, uh, you, know, you want to get to know other people that are um, speaking about things similar to what you're working on. Um, so there's plenty of time that's made available for that in terms of some of the receptions, um, the after hours uh, of, 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 the t of the technical program and the poster sessions all give you a good opportunity to sort of meet with other people that are presenting in areas that you're interested in. So this conference is really important, I think, in, in setting up relationships with other scientists. That includes recruiting people. Um, if I, a lot of students will, will make good presentations and that's a good opportunity for faculty to identify students that might be postdocs um, or even other faculty members in their department, so it's a really important part. 
is another aspect that I like Creo, so that uh, I can uh, meet uh, friends. Uh, so that it, that's important aspect for me to meet friends. And uh, again, that it uh, not only the friends in my uh, topic area, but also in other area. So I have several friends, so-called Creo friends, so <laughs> who I meet regularly at Creo, but not in other places. So it's so great fun to exchange uh, new information uh, about their research and uh, also themselves. And we'd like to set things up so that for anybody who attends Clio, there's two or three days that appeal. And try to put those days together so you can attend for a couple of days, hit the trade show, uh, hit great talks, see some tutorials, uh, and also have time to network with friends and colleagues or recruit.